Welcome to the shooting show. This week we follow Mark Ripley as he tests out Pulsar's Digex night vision scope out on a rabbit control mission to keep the farmer happy. So this evening I'm going to be out after a few rabbits. I'm going to be using the Pulsar DJX night vision scope this evening. I've got it mounted here on my uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 1522, which is a 2 2 semi-automatic rimfire rifle. Paris bipod and just a cheap IR on the side there. Um, what I like about this scope is it's nice and easy to use. It's very straightforward. Uh, it's a lot like a standard day scope. In fact, it uses standard 30mm mounts to mount it to the uh, rifle. As you can see, it just attaches there to a standard Picatinny rail. Here I'm using just uh, medium sports match mounts. Uh, you've got um, focus on the front objective lens there, lens cap, you've got hole in it for uh, daytime use or open for nighttime use. Um, all your main controls here on the eyepiece, you've got power on and off button. Left hand side is your uh, plus and minus for the zoom and you've also got a record button which records footage and photographs straight to the, uh, the inbuilt memory. Um, to download photographs, on the side here, underneath this cover, you have got a port there which you plug a lead into and you can download footage straight from there. Uh, it's also your charging port for the scope um, to charge the internal battery and also as a secondary battery. Uh, you can get spare batteries for that as well so you can have two or three in your pocket ready to ready to go uh, and on the other side here you've got a focus wheel uh, sorry a, a wheel here to uh, scroll through your menu options and center center button there selects the option you pick um, scope itself very straightforward to use you've got like a lot of um, night vision scopes you've got uh, the one shot zero on there it makes it nice and easy to zero no problems doing that whatsoever uh, you probably do need a few more than one shot but just to confirm the zero it's very much like a lot of the standard um, pulsar scopes in as much as that you've got standard sort of layout of the menu and all the standard functions you'd expect from pulsar. Now this scope doesn't need an awful lot of IR. Uh, it's very IR sensitive so you can use it uh, dusk and early mornings, low light conditions and you get a very good picture with it without any IR whatsoever. So you may remember a few weeks back I used this scope to shoot a few foxes uh, on my 223 and um, proved, uh, proved good enough for that, so uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, room for a range on some rabbits and that which gets nice footage. So um, let's take it out and see what we can get. So a quick zero test. And the having the uh, accolades with them this evening because he's got a built-in laser rangefinder in them and um, especially when using the 2.2 with quite a sort of pronounced drop on it it's uh, really handy to know the exact range to the, uh, to the target.
So we're getting some nice healthy rabbits this evening. A lot of these are probably uh, this year's, but this one's a good adult rabbit. Um, so yeah, make good eating. Few rabbits in this uh, next couple of fields. I think I'm going to get out and have a little walk down the hedgerow and see if I'm not one or two over. I'll take the um, recon tripod with me as well. Not doing too bad, Steve. We're knocking a few over. It's um, it's really windy out, so that's actually been a bit of an advantage. And as much as it um, is covering the sound of the shots and the impacts and that out there, uh, the only downside is it's also knocking the rounds around a little bit. So um, it's making uh, shooting a bit challenging. But we're still uh, had a, probably a dozen or so so far. I think I've lost count, but uh, yeah, not doing too bad. Actually, um, quite a good evening that, so a couple of hours, quite productive. Uh, DJX um, proves to be a pretty effective little scope for that, so I uh, quite enjoyed myself um, knocking over a few rabbits this evening. I haven't done that for a while, so it was uh, a nice change from the foxing. Right then, let's get this lot gutted. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And do ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, you know the drill. Basque. Looking after you. Looking after your sport. It's time to join now. This has been The Shooting Show.